Campbell Point Marina for motorboat and yachting today and I'm joined by our technical correspondent Greg Goulding. Together we're going to be testing out a series of outboard engines on our little inflatable here, starting with a Mariner model. So let's take her out in the water and see how she performs. The 10 horsepower Mariner outboard we've tested has a twin cylinder engine. The layout of the controls is quite nice and it comes with a raised section so all the controls fall easily to hand. There's no other gear shift as such, it's all on the throttle, one way for forward and the other way for reverse. It's quite easy to use once you get used to it. The kill switch is also really easy to get hold of. There's no internal fuel tank, only an external tank on this model. Starting is simple and a throttle only button means you can rev freely to warm up the engine. We managed to get 18 knots, it takes about 10 seconds to get on the plane. The acceleration is good and then always reflects the typical Mariner build quality. At idle revs, the twin cylinder means it's quite throaty and not too noisy. On this engine, we've got a really nice layout with the gears and one on the end, the throttle in the middle and the friction control at the rear that means you can set the speed of cruising for long periods of time. For this reason, the Suzuki is quite popular with safety boats. The engine itself is very smooth two-cylinder, the noise makes it quite nice and performance wise it's probably middle of the range. It got onto the plane quickly but once there we noticed there's quite a lot of backwash. It didn't take long before there was quite a lot of water on board. Compared to their engines, the Honda 10 horsepower does seem quite a large engine and it's quite heavy as well. However, when running at lower speeds it's very smooth. The acceleration is slightly limited, it doesn't have that same sort of grunt that the other engines do have. It got us onto the plane with a very respectable speed, but unlike the others, there's no fixed carrying handlebar. The handle flits up from underneath. This works nicely and it's quite comfortable to carry. As a result, the tiller looks longer and the gear shift is set back next to the cowling. The swooping styling on the cowling does look quite nice though. This is the Leo 9.9 .9 horsepower, and what's different about it is that it runs off propane gas, just like your barbecue at home. The idea behind this is that finding petrol can be difficult at some marinas, but most boats will already have a gas cylinder on board. Efficiency levels are similar and it costs no more to run. Performance wise it's still very similar to the petrol powered motors. The acceleration is a little bit slower, but the wind had whipped up by the time it came to be tested. Noise wise it's very surprisingly similar to the petrol engine. This is a Tohatsu 9.8 horsepower outboard. Underneath it's pretty much identical to the Marin and the Mercury models as they come from the same factory, so the performance and sound is quite similar. It's got two cylinders, so the noise is quite beefy and not too loud at the top end. The gear does set back on the cowling, like the Honda, but it's not as easy to carry. This is the Yamaha 9.9 .9 horsepower outboard. What's like about this engine is that while there seems to be a lot going on, it's all very well thought out, with the cabling running neatly from the accelerator to the gear chain and a nice little bracket so it doesn't chafe anywhere else. That said, the carrying bracket is a little bit restricted by this. One fantastic feature is that when storing, you can put it on three different sides, unlike many of the other engines. Noise wise and performance wise, it was very solid, but not breaking any sort of records. It got up onto the plane quite quickly and reached a top speed of 14 knots which is quite impressive in these windy conditions. It is a bit more expensive, but being a Yamaha, it is definitely worth it. So now we've had a look at six different 10 horsepower engines. You can really see the difference between 10 horsepower and five horsepower. Most ribs will be able to get onto the plane with a couple of people on board. In terms of which model is right for you, it comes down to exactly what you want for your engine. We were impressed by the ruggedness of the Tohatsu, while the Yamaha provides a great all-round package, albeit with a premium price. To read our full review, pick up the February edition of Motorboat and Yachting.